What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to some more Just Cause 3. This is an achievement slash trophy guide for feet fetish, which requires you to complete all of the feats in the game. So, I'm going to first off show you what the feats are and yada yada yada. Most of them you should be able to do on your own. However, this final one that I'm going to be showing off is the soapbox car location. The soapbox car is needed to complete one of the probably last feats that you'll have to do in the game. So I'm going to show the location and then me unlocking the achievement. Of course, if you're on PlayStation, you will get a trophy. So first off, as I was saying, you're going to have a bunch of different feats that you have to do in the game. So right here I'm showing off. These are all of the different feats. And as you can see, I have completed every single one of them, except for the Endless Runner one, which requires you to travel a certain distance in the soapbox car. All of the other ones I've already completed, so you're going to want to make sure that you've completed all of the other feats before trying this one or you can try this one but don't expect your achievement to pop yet anyways you're going to also have to have finished act one this is so that the soapbox car actually spawns in at the location which i'm going to show on the map right now so if we head over to the map you're going to want to have taken over sima leon centcom and in doing so you've probably also disabled the fow missile system which will make this a hell of a lot easier anyways as you can see i am here at sima leon the centcom station and I have already taken it over, so now I'm just going to show you the soapbox location. So, if you just head to the front gate of this base, you will find the soapbox car literally just sitting right there. There it is. Now, if you come here before completing Act 1, it will not spawn in. And as I'm going to show here, it is really slow, so you actually have to ride it down this hill in order to really get it to kind of move. So in a second, I think I'm going to um, fast forward a little bit. However, one thing that I noticed is you can actually get out and kind of push it by running into it, which will move it a little bit faster and further, closer to the hill. As you can see, I'm going to come to a complete standstill here and get out of the car and begin to push it. You may even be able to use the tethers. However, I'd be very careful doing that, only because you don't want to accidentally flip or destroy the vehicle in some way. So as I'm showing there, I was just kind of pushing it. I've cut now to the point where I actually got far enough down the hill to where I could actually ride it down the hill. And as you can see, I'm just going to ride it down the hill. And after a little bit, you'll notice in the top right hand corner, my feet is going to pop up right there, the endless runner right there, as you can see in the right top hand corner. After this has happened, you can jump out at any point and it will count. And then you will get your achievement or trophy, assuming that you've tried all of the other feats before this one. So as I can show you here, I jump out, it explodes, my endless run is done, and my achievement pops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun junk, check down in the description, some awesome links, some awesome things, my Twitter, Facebook, donation page, Twitch channel, a bunch of other things you might be interested in. Thank you for joining me. Keep it here for more achievements, slash trophy, slash collectible guides, more Just Cause 3, and a bunch of other things. Until tomorrow, ta-ra.